Hey, what is going on party people? Greg Jenkins here from House Monkey Bot. In this video, I want to shine a light on a relatively or maybe extremely niche feature inside of the Max Classic version of Keep. I'm talking about linked contacts. Now, before you get too excited, the linked contacts feature does have some pretty serious limitations, but there are a handful of use cases where it is uniquely valuable. So I wanna go over what it does, what it doesn't do, and help you understand this particular setting so that you can decide if it solves a use case for your business. Check it out. All right, so uh, just like it sounds, linked contacts are contacts that have been linked together. Um, from the contact record itself, there is a tab for linked contacts. Um, and here you can see that Zach Morris has been linked to Kelly Kapowski. Um, the type of link is a study partner. And then what that allows you to do is, is interact with, you know, from one contact record, you can click through um, and it takes you to the contact that they are linked to. So it simplifies it if you are working with someone and you know that they have um, a coworker or a colleague or in my case, a study partner, um, their contact records are just uh, connected through this linked contacts tab. Um, you can add a task for that partner. So from Kelly's record here, you know, I can interact with Kelly, but if I know that I wanna create a task to follow up with Zach, um, I can click that button right from, from Kelly's record and add a task. I can remove that connection or I could send an email directly to Zach. Okay, so let's hop on over to Albie Dumbledore. Um, on the linked contacts tab here, we can see Albus does not currently have any connections, um, but maybe we know that Albus is uh, co-workers with Severus, right? So uh, we could find Severus and, and create our connection, uh, but we don't yet have a connection for co-workers, right? We have siblings or we have study partners. So in order to create a new type of linked contact, a new connection type, we would do manage link types. And uh, this is also where you would come if you wanted to edit or delete um, or rename the existing types of linked contacts. Uh, but let's let's click new link type, and this one we'll just say coworkers, uh, or we could do you know Hogwarts faculty if we wanted to get real specific there. Um, and then you can set the maximum number of people who can be in this type of scenario. So maybe we know that they're never gonna have more than 10 coworkers, right? Or maybe we know a study group is never gonna have more than three people or um, a workshop won't have more than you know X number, right? So that's what that does for us. Um, and then we can actually type in here, Severus Snape. And if I believe if we do search, it'll find the right contact based on the information we've entered. Uh, and then we can do save link. And it establishes, um, it re, you know, reloads the contact, but it establishes the connection between Albus and Severus. So at a um, you know real basic level, that's all linked contact does is it, is it allows you to tie together two records um, so that you can link back and forth between them, um, so that you can you know add tasks or ooh look at that somehow. Ah, so Severus has two types of linked contacts. He and Albus are coworkers, but apparently. And I didn't know this either. Uh, Bob Marley is uh, Severus's sibling. So there you go. Um, uh, so the basic way that we use this is just by being on the contact record and linking through to the other uh, connections that they have or um, creating tasks or emails for them. Uh, but the second way that this uh, linked contact functionality uh, shows up and, and perhaps where it becomes most useful is when you are writing an email. So. Um, if we are crafting like a follow-up email in this case, hey, I hope everything's going well at your company, wanted to check in, uh, see if this widget you know, would make a difference in your life, uh, we can add something like, uh, but I realize you might need to talk to, uh, if we wanna say like you're gonna check with your coworker, right? Um, and then uh, down here toward the bottom, we have siblings and study partners and coworkers, right? So we can merge in their first name, right? So if this email was going to uh, Albus, right? It would say, but I realize you might need to talk to Severus um, before you make a decision, right? Um, or if it's going to a, a, you know, a spouse, we can encourage them to check with their partner, right? Or if it's going to a parent, we can reference the, the child that would be attending a karate class or a camp, right? So there's lots of scenarios here, uh, but the benefit of linked contacts is that this is the only way you can merge in information um, in an email going to person A about person B once you have made that connection. All right, so that is linked contacts in a nutshell. 
As you saw, there are some limitations to this, but if it solves a problem you've been up against, I wanted to put it on your radar. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to drop those below this video. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, all the things that, that you usually would do on a platform like this. Thanks for watching. Take care.